Hello mga investors and welcome to another video. Ayaw nyo ba ng mga investments na volatile, yung mga up and down yung market value? Gusto nyo ba yung mga type ng investment na papasok na lang kayo ng pera and then hihintayin nyo na lang na tumubo yung pera nyo? Then this video is for you because today we will be talking about Pag-ibig MP2. In this video, we will talk about kung ano ang Pag-ibig MP2. Pwede ka ba dito? Paano mag-start ng account sa Pag-ibig MP2? And at the end of the video, we will talk about the strategies na pwede nyong gamitin when it comes to maximizing your ROI or returns when invested in this type of investment opportunity. So stay tuned till the end. Let's begin. Let's start with the basics kung ano yung pag-ibig MP2. It is a type of investment deposit account managed by pag-ibig fund. So we are all familiar with the regular savings fund ng pag-ibig. Yun yung mandatory type ng fund na we are required to open kung mag-umpisa tayong magtrabaho in a legitimate organization. Mandatory siya kasi our HR is required to give a certain percentage or amount to the pag-ibig fund every payday. Yung MP2 sa pag-ibig MP2 means modified pag-ibig 2. This means na iba siya dun sa regular account mo. For one, kailangan mo mag-volunteer to sign up to pag-ibig MP2. So that's one of the major differences between the regular savings account and MP2. Another difference between these two pag-ibig accounts is that Iba yung investment structure ni Pag-ibig MP2, which leads to higher dividend payouts every year. And for us investors, that's the bottom line, yung dividends. So why do I recommend Pag-ibig MP2 for beginners? Because number one, protected yung capital nyo dito. There is no volatility and Pag-ibig is a strong corporation. So hindi mawawala yung pera nyo dito. In addition, hindi mo na kailangan magbantay sa market because there is no price na kailangan mong bantayan. You just need to put in money on a regular basis or pwede rin lump sum. Another strong point of this is constant annual dividend payout. So unlike sa company stocks wherein na yung dividend depends on the income of the company with Pag-ibig MP2, because people are regularly paying their loans sa pag-ibig, there is constant dividend payout. The only reason na pwedeng hindi sila magbayad ng dividend is if wala ng income si pag-ibig, which is an unlikely scenario. Another upside with investing with MP2 is tax-free yung dividends mo. If nag i ka sa stocks, there is a sales tax every time na magbebenta ka. So, you are taxed there. If makaka-receive ka ng dividends from a stock company, matatax ka rin ng withholding tax. The same goes for the interest rate that you gain when putting your money in a bank. With Pag-ibig MP2, all the money that you receive is tax-free. So, hindi na mababawasan ni government yung pera mo dyan. The only downside I see with Pag-ibig MP2 is that meron siyang 5-year holding period, which is a long time if we are talking about investment time frames. Lastly, ito yung naging performance ng pag-ibig since 2011. If you have been invested since 2011 sa pag-ibig MP2, ito yung mag-gain mo na annual return on investment on your money. Now, let's go to the eligibility. Kung sino ba yung pwedeng mag-invest sa pag-ibig MP2. So, this investment opportunity is open to all active Pag-ibig members. So, if you are actively paying your Pag-ibig account through your employer, then you are eligible to invest in Pag-ibig MP2. Let's say na retired ka na or inactive na yung account mo. You can still invest as long as naka total of 24 months ka na, na contributions now, let's go sa kung paano mag-start ng Pag-ibig MP2. Para mag-start ka ng Pag-ibig MP2, you need to first go to their website and mag-sign up doon. 
then you need to download a registration form that you need to fill out in person with your signature. Lastly, kailangan mong submit yung form na to to your local Pag-ibig office. Now, let's go to the strategies when investing in Pag-ibig MP2. Just like with any investment, you have the option of, number one, using lump sum or papasok ka agad ng malaking pera sa umpisa pa lang. The second option, of course, is to invest regularly, like every payday or once a month. But in this case, I suggest na if you can, maglump sum ka na lang na investment. Because with this option, sa umpisa pa lang, malaki na yung amount invested in your MP2 account. This means na whatever the dividend is for that first year, gagana agad yun sa entire capital mo. And if applied yun for the entire 5 years, mas malaki yung ROI mo. Pero of course, hindi naman lahat tayo merong lump sum na pwedeng i-invest agad. So, there is the option for regular contributions. The best part about this is pwede mong i-request si HR mo na gawing automatic yung contributions mo to Pag-ibig MP2. Warning lang guys, if you do this, if you ask HR na mag-transact for you, make sure mo na i-check mo every month if pumapasok yung pera. Because sometimes kahit na ginawa ni HR lahat, um, merong delay sa pagpasok ng pera to your MP2 account. And you want to contact the Pag-ibig office to make sure na papasok yung pera at the right time. Because if hindi nakapasok yung pera agad sa MP2 account mo, hindi gagana yung dividend for that particular period na hindi nakapasok yung pera. So, I suggest na bantayan nyo yung online account nyo sa pag-ibig to make sure that all contributions are accounted for. Now, let's go to these two options, annual dividend payout and compounded savings option. Yung mga option na to will tell pag-ibig kung ano yung gagawin sa dividends na makukuha mo. Yung annual dividend payout means na mapupunta sa bank account mo yung dividends. So, mag-iwi-withdraw mo yung dividend mo. With compounded savings option, mapapatong yung dividend mo sa capital mo. Tapos, gagamitin yung dividend mo from the previous year to be invested in the current year. Meaning, mas lalaki yung capital mo in the following year. Yung annual dividend payout, ginagamit yan for those who are already retired. And gusto na nilang gamitin yung dividends na kinikita nila sa pag-ibig MP2. Pero, if you are just in that accumulation and growth stage of your financial cycle, then it is better na mag-compounded savings options ka na lang muna to maximize the return of your investment in Pag-ibig MP2. To summarize, the sooner you invest, the better. Kasi mas mahaba yung time na naka-invest yung pera mo sa Pag-ibig MP2. Second is, the larger your capital, the better. Third, if you are in that point in your life wherein you are looking for growth and accumulation of wealth, then you want to reinvest your dividends. So, it's best na gamitin natin yung compounded savings option. And lastly, if you are in your 20s or your 30s, then you have the power of reinvesting. Kasi sa pag-ibig MP2, hindi automatic yung reinvestment after the 5 years holding period. So, after the 5th year, hindi siya magko-continue na lang na mag-accumulate ng dividends. What will happen is that mapupunta siya sa regular savings na type ng account and mas mababa yung income nun. So, you want to apply again for pag-ibig MP2 and ipasok ulit yung pera ng previous MP2 account mo to be reinvested for another 5 years. Of course, at that point, you may want to consider other investment options depende sa goals mo in the short term and in the long term. Like for example, if retired age ka na at that point, you may want to use annual dividend option para yung dividends mo magagabit mo na for your yearly needs. If retired ka na at gusto mong mag-live off of your pag-ibig dividends, then it will add to your pension and mas malaki yung retirement baon mo.
So that's it with the strategies when investing in Pag-ibig MP2. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask sa comments. I will try my best to answer it if I am not busy. And if you enjoyed the video, please click like. And if hindi pa kayo subscribe, don't be shy. Click the subscribe button. Okay, so thank you guys and ingat.